All right, so I just gave my laptop a full reset. Brand new windows install, squeaky clean. And no, it's not because I broke something, at least not this time. Whether you've just reinstalled Windows, want to breathe some life into your old laptop, or are just here for some tips, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you how to make your laptop faster, the programs I use, and how to take your setup from meh to wow. Let's dive in and give your laptop the glow up it deserves. The first step is uninstalling all of the unnecessary programs that are pre-installed with Windows 11. Start by opening the settings. In the settings, you have to look for the tab with apps on the left side of the screen. Right here, you can see the point installed apps. In here, simply uninstall all of the apps you don't need. I personally uninstall almost everything in here since a lot of these things are really unnecessary. But watch out not to uninstall system relevant apps or drivers. In this step, we are going to make the startup time of the PC way faster by removing apps from auto start. Start by opening the task manager. Simply right click on the Windows logo in the taskbar. Right here you want to open this point. As you can see right here are all of the apps that automatically start as soon as you start up your PC. I personally don't like it when apps like my browser or Discord start automatically. Deactivate all of the apps you don't want to start automatically. Apps like Security Health Sistray can stay activated. In my case I only have to deactivate MS Edge. Let's continue with the customization process, starting with the taskbar. Right click on the taskbar to get to the taskbar settings. In here you can untoggle task view and widgets. We also want to disable the search box, as the Windows logo can be used for this purpose instead. As you can see, the taskbar already looks much better, but stay tuned, we're far from finished. Now I'm going to show you how to declutter and organize your desktop to make it more visually appealing and functional. This step is actually quite simple, just right click on your desktop, go to the view tab and uncheck the option show desktop icons. Now let's choose a clean, minimalistic wallpaper to give your desktop a fresh and organized look. I personally like to google clean aesthetic wallpaper and look for one that suits my style the best. As you can see, there are countless options available and you can choose freely to find the one that best fits your style. I quite like this one and that's also the one that's best for this customization. Right click the picture and choose set image as desktop background. Here also select set desktop background. I will put a link to this image in the video description. As you can see, the background alone already makes a huge difference in transforming the overall look of your desktop. Now, let's move on to installing one of my favorite programs, a tool that's focusing on enhancing the look of your setup. Open up your browser and search for the Windhawk application. I will also put a link to this in the video description. Right here, click on download and then directly run the downloaded file. Once the installation process is finished, go ahead and open the Windows 11 Start Menu Styler. Right here, install and accept the risks. The download may take a little while. When the download is finished, you can go into settings to change the designs. Here, the designs are referred to as themes. Select the translucent start menu, then click on save settings. Now, when you click on the Windows logo, the start menu looks like this. I absolutely love the sleek translucent design. Let's continue with the Windows 11 taskbar styler. Right here, you once again have to install and accept the risks. Next, navigate to the settings and choose the translucent taskbar theme. The Windhawk application has significantly improved the overall design language of the laptop, making it look so much more polished and modern. And to all those gearing up to flood the comments with angry rants about how much performance this app supposedly eats up, hold on a second. Let me show you just how wrong that assumption is. First, let me search up the Windhawk application real quick. As you can see right here, the Windhawk app uses 0% CPU and an impressively low 1.3 megabytes of RAM. Astonishing, isn't it? That just goes to show that not all custom widgets and features need to consume disrespectfully high amounts of performance. Now let's move on to a relatively small but impactful adjustment, the color of windows. Open up your settings and go into the point personalization on the left side. Once you're in there, you want to open up the index tab colors. Right here, you can choose between a lot of different options actually. We'll start by enabling the toggle for transparency effects if you haven't done so already. The next step is choosing your mode. You absolutely have to go with dark mode here. Because let's be honest, if you prefer light mode, you might just be a bit of a lunatic. For the accent color, I'd always recommend using the automatic mode. It does a great job of selecting the color that best complements your desktop setup. Of course, you can choose your own colors, but let's be honest, many of them end up looking obnoxious. Sticking with automatic mode is not only easier, but also gives a much cleaner result. Next up is a very interesting app that can transform you Windows Explorer. Disclaimer, this app might be slow on an older or low performance laptop. 
Google Files v3 and open up the first link. I will also put a link to this in the video description. Scroll completely down to the bottom and click on the download page. At this point, you'll need to download the Insider Preview because the full version comes with a price tag. But don't worry, the free version includes more than enough features to enhance your setup so you won't feel like you're missing out. Plus, it's perfect for most customization needs. Let's start by comparing the standard Windows Explorer with the Files v3 Explorer. On the left side of the screen, you'll find the Files Explorer and on the right, the regular Explorer. As you can see, the Files Explorer looks much more modern compared to the standard Explorer and I have to say I really like it. Now, let's take it a step further and customize it to make it even better. Click on the settings wheel located in the top right corner. Here you can also tweak various settings, like the layout and other preferences. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a dedicated video focused entirely on the Files v3 Explorer. For this video, we'll just focus on the appearance section. Start by changing the backdrop to thin acrylic. Next, go ahead and change the folder color to blue-gray. This small adjustment will give your File Explorer a cleaner and more modern look. As you can see, the finished result fits in perfectly with the rest of the customization, especially with that cool, thin acrylic look. It really pulls everything together and gives the whole setup a sleek, stylish vibe. In the last part, I want to show you how to make a clock widget appear on your home screen. First, we are going to install the RainMeter application. Google RainMeter and click on the first link, or once again, use the link in my description. The installation process is pretty straightforward, so I won't go into all the steps and bore you with it. Just follow the prompts and you'll be good to go in no time. The more important part is the installation of the so-called Mon skin. Scroll down to the blue download button. Watch out the website is a bit sketchy. Don't click on the wrong download button. Once the folder is downloaded, simply follow the easy installation process again. It's quick and straightforward, so you'll be up and running in no time. Now that the file is executed, go ahead and change the clock format. If you're a cheeseburger person, switch to the 12 hour clock format. But if you're normal, just stick with the 24 hour format. Also remove the media player by right clicking on it and taping unload skin. Same goes for the trash can in the bottom right corner. By holding down the left mouse button, you can easily adjust the clock's position. Drag it around until it's perfectly aligned just beneath the peak of the mountains, creating a nice look. And once again, I want to show you that this widget really doesn't consume much performance at all. It's light and efficient, so you won't have to worry about it slowing down your system. Here it is. It only takes up 0 to 1% of CPU usage and just 2.9 megabytes of RAM. Impressive, right? It's minimal on resources while still delivering great functionality. I honestly have to say I'm quite impressed with the result. The widget and Windhawk application made a huge difference, but even the small changes like adjusting the taskbar in the beginning really add up and improve the overall look and feel. It all comes together perfectly. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also be sure to check out my newly created website where I'll be posting more about this video.